but doing so is key to learning, to developing solutions, and ultimately, to victory. Those who successfully implement these principles run circles around the rest of the world. Since the release of extreme ownership, the fundamental principles of combat leadership that we learned on the battlefield of Iraq have been exposed to, understood, and implemented by hundreds of thousands of readers around the world. We've worked with thousands more individuals through our leadership consulting business, Echelon Front, and reached a vast audience on social media. We've also been fortunate to receive feedback from many of them on a daily basis. Their responses have been incredible. We've heard from readers who call the book life-changing, the best leadership book I've ever read, and exactly what I needed to hear. They explain how they have learned even more on the second, third, or fourth read through the book. There can be no higher compliment to us as authors than to observe the scores of extreme ownership copies we have signed with multiple color tabs marking well-underlined, highlighted, and dog-eared pages with scribbled notes in the margins that serve as testament to the book's frequent use as a ready reference guide for engaged leaders navigating the challenges of business and life. Such testimonials and observations inspire us to work even harder ourselves. But what's been even more gratifying to hear about are the results. We get reports from military leaders on the front lines, putting the principles to work against our nation's enemies. These leaders are leading up the chain of command to receive the green light for approval to launch on critical battlefield missions or utilize crucial resources. Chief executive officers of massive global companies detail how they have initiated extreme ownership in their organizations and observed their personnel throughout the chain of command step up and lead. We hear from first responders who utilize the lessons from extreme ownership in their official training programs to lead their troops in stressful and dangerous situations. All of these stories have reinforced what we learned in the SEAL teams. Leadership is the most important thing on the battlefield, and the principles of good leadership do not change regardless of the mission, the environment, or the personalities of those involved. Leading is leading. We worked with the division of a construction company that faced the grim possibility of shutdown due to systemic safety problems. But once its employees implemented extreme ownership, the division not only solidified their right to operate, but it also earned a top position in safety at the company. We've helped companies streamline their manufacturing process, make deadlines on their delivery of their product, and complete vast projects on time and under budget. We've guided young, capable, eager leaders struggling in antagonistic relationships with their bosses to implement the mindset of no excuses and no one else to blame. By taking ownership, checking their egos, and accepting the blame for a difficult relationship, they repaired relationships and regained the trust of their leaders. As a result, they achieved recognition above their peers and throughout their industry for exceptional performance. We've heard from leaders in the medical profession who tell us how explaining the why to their team and communicating orders in a simple, clear, concise manner greatly enhanced their team's performance and saved lives in the operating room. We've watched fire department battalion training chiefs utilize extreme ownership as a handbook teaching their firefighters to implement cover and move to better function as a team, enabling them to more effectively serve their communities while better protecting their firefighters in harm's way. We've seen police officers promoted into leadership positions of greater authority and responsibility attribute their success directly to the principles of extreme ownership. A number of school teachers, educators, and coaches have told us how the concepts of this book have made them better, delivering greater impact and improving the lives of their students and athletes. Pastors and mission groups have relayed to us how extreme ownership made their teams more effective, delivering greater impact to the lives of people in need. We've even heard from spouses who tell us how extreme ownership saved their marriage. Once they stopped pointing fingers and casting blame on their wife or husband...